Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm honoring a show that influenced African American culture greatly. This show ran from the 80s through the 90s and it was a different world. I'll be recreating the looks of these lovely leading ladies and I hope you enjoy. I start off with leading lady Denise Huxtable. Her style was masculine yet sexy and her signature hair was definitely a highlight of her look. She always seemed to put her looks together kind of Thoughtfully, but still it made it seem like it was effortless. She was definitely the naive one of the bunch, but she always had a sense of herself at the same time. I loved watching her journey of her finding herself throughout the first season. Originally, A Different World was a spin-off of The Cosby Show to follow Denise Huxtable on her journey to an HBCU, Hillman College. There we got her to meet some of our favorite characters that would take over. Leading Lady 2 was Freddie Brooks. Her style was funky, yet still quirky. For Freddie, I decided to apply bronzer all over my face to give me that natural sun-kissed glow that Freddie always seemed to have. I also just styled my natural hair by placing a bun and a one-up do, which was kind of her signature style. Her look was by far the easiest for me to recreate, just because she was really a carefree, hippie-like girl. Other characteristics of Freddie's was she was very into African American culture and would probably be a part of Black Lives Matter movement currently today. She was really big on social injustices and I love seeing how her character developed into becoming a lawyer. Opposite the let go, let flow, carefree spirit of Freddie Brooks was Kimberly Reese, the pre-med student. For her look, I decided to warm up my face by adding some earth tones and browns. She always seemed to wear brown as well as red lips, a pop of color. I also decided to flatten out my wig to more closely mimic her hairstyle. Kimberly was by far the most level-headed of the bunch and also the most goal-oriented. She was super hardworking, supporting her way financially through college by working while being pre-med and maintaining amazing grades. I love how accurate the show was in depicting the different backgrounds that college students come from. You really could relate to the characters. The next one was Whitley Gilbert, Southern Belle. She was most notable for her voice. The wine! It really never got old. For her look, I focused on a dramatic eye. Her makeup was always soft, but her eyes were always deep, as well as she always wore taupe color lips. Whitley was somewhat bougie, spoiled, and came for money, and we all knew it. I loved her style though. I wore pearls as well as these shoulder pads to emphasize her infamous look. She was all things fashion and glam, but I loved to see how her style really evolved and she learned to take care of herself. These characters that everyone could relate to as well as the show inspired so many to attend HBCUs. So glad the show was made. And also if you're wondering where I got this shirt from, actually it was a birthday gift from my husband, but I'll leave the details of where he got it below. I loved, loved, loved it and it also came with a cute little brochure that says your first year experience as well as an admissions letter from Hillman College. So I thought that was super, super cool. I actually watched all six seasons on Netflix. I did not grow up with this show, but boy did I miss out. It's so amazing how relevant it still is. I would highly recommend this show to anyone who's looking for quality content on TV. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed me recreating this look. Subscribe for more weekly videos. Love, live, laugh, and God bless always.